guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 7 of season 2 of Irregular at Magic High School. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Let me check my phone one more time to see what that said. Okay, I'm gonna have to. Oh, I hate talking about family problems and the reason why I had to postpone the show. I'm not to say that people don't care, but there are some people who do care. Really? What is it? The fuck? Is it w Oh, fuck me. No, 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 Are you serious? Of course. Okay. As I was trying to say, the weapon that Colonel has given best girl, Lena. Um, that damn thing looked like a lifesaver. A uh, lifesaver. <laughs> lifesaver. I can't say it. Oh my God. Star Wars. There you go. As someone who don't watch Star Wars, I know how to say the damn word right. Lightsaber. There we go. Oh my God. That's what it looks like. Except, you know, um, it, it it's not light. There you go. <laughs> But she's really going to make the... Oh, God. She's really going to have her. I mean, number one, she's not going to be able to, like, kill him. Because Tatsuya is main character. And you wouldn't do that. I'm just saying. That's all. I do want to say one more thing. The more and more I see... um The kids. And I think I talked about this, like, a couple weeks ago. It kind of, maybe if they do this, because I'm on and off reading that chapter, and I finished it a while ago, maybe they're going to possibly animate that chapter that we talked about a couple of weeks ago about, you know, Miyuki slowly but surely falling in love with her brother, and it's like that. Maybe I would like to see it, because that itch is so freaking good. I'm just saying, please, because, oh my god, it, it's probably another reason why I love Miyuki so much. Uh, well, yeah, because, um, yeah, because the thing got inside, Pixie. So whose record is it looking for? Something tells me not only mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, bitch, cause that ain't Pixie anymore. That's the parasite. 
What if the parasite controls like Miyuki or some shit? I, I mean, God, no. Nothing. Oh, hell. I mean, yeah, that's a little weird, but Miyuki, there's no reason to be jealous of a robot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you did a whole It's okay, Miyuki. I mean, yeah. Yes, the parasite. I do not like the way she looking like that. What? Seriously? Why, though? No, I mean, Honoka would never do such a thing like that. Oh, so, like, the hug was mainly because of Honoka, because we know Honoka's secretly in love with Tatsuya. I mean, that makes sense. <laughs> Got you. Yeah. Probably thousands. So she only really remembers things that she did as Mia. Yeah. But then it makes you wonder, like, not only how many people she, he or she, it has killed, but how many skills it has.
So that's why she's also been featured in the opening. Mmm. <laughs> Poor baby. I know that I mean out of all the things <laughs> poor baby Okay. That's a nice car. I know, right? I mean, honestly, going back to when we were trying to figure out who the parasite was gonna uh, possess, I thought it was just be it was gonna be Honoka herself. But okay, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Lena? No. They're coming towards you? Yeah. Lena, you don't have to do this, please. You care for him. Unless she gonna flip flop and be like, no, I need you to come with me. You know, I got orders to kill you, but I'm not gonna kill you. You alright in there? Honestly, that was a little too easy, though. Of course. Lena, please, don't do this. Be smart. Be above the system, honey. Like... You my second best girl. Come on now. I don't like this. Damn it, Lena. Lena! Because she flip flopping on your ass. Uh, 
Ow, my leg. Mm hmm. Because she wants to talk to you. But, Lena. Just hear him out first before you, like, say, hey, surrender ish. No, he can't block that. I mean, if that thing just did that shit to his arm and just did that to the trees, imagine, like, oh, God. you right about that. Mm, probably toward to you. Oh. Because he's OP. That's why, I mean... That's how I feel, honestly. Because <laughs> he can also reach out like his fucking arm no matter what. That says a lot, my God. You healed her? Yeah. So you just gonna leave her there now? Exactly.
I'm done. How? <laughs> Girl, they all did. Damn, he really did all that, did he? Oh my god. But still, my, I, I have no dear, freaking clue what that could happen next. I mean, it seems like best girl, Lena, second best girl. Um, she gonna have a conversation <laughs> That, I mean, they might fight again. Honestly, this fight between these two was okay. It wasn't, I felt like if I had to choose between Miyuki and Lena's fight versus this fight, I will say the Miyuki-Lena fight was a lot better than this. This was very, mm, like, a typical fight from, like, almost any other anime. But it was still good. And being mad about that. Still freaking good. But I, I just hope the next time that these two go at it, they duke it out and they duke it out really, really good. I want to, I want it to be like a fair fight because no matter what she had, there were five people first going against Tatsuya. Yes, he was able to like beat them down like nobody's business. But when it's one on one, she's still, they, they both cheated. I mean, yeah, you can't, you can't have that in like a fair fight really, but it was still good. It was interesting. Um, the fact that the parasite is on Pixie and connected to Honoka and literally telling Honoka's business about how she truly feels about Tatsuya, that was hilarious. I mean, honestly, um, <laughs> I, I mean, talk about having like your embarrassing secrets just come out all like that. I mean, I would die like at that moment if it was me, but like, it <laughs> baby girl like you gotta feel so bad for <laughs> so I'm kind of it kind of seems like Pixie and Honoka um are gonna be a lot more useful especially Honoka because like Honoka to me in season one I really thought she was gonna be one of those characters because she gets screen time she really does especially with the um the school tournament arc I think that's like probably one of my personal favorite arcs between that and the very last arc are my two favorites and such and even though Shizuku is she's here but then at the same time she's not here and Shizuku got um a lot of screen time in season one and I was like okay coming into this season she's gonna get as much Shizuku's screen time and development to me is more mediocre and I'm not saying that to be bad because of the fact is yes the the author of the series decided to go ahead and say okay Shizuku you go on the other side of the world you still find stuff and tell us from time to time so like let's say it's oh shit um let's say it's like chapter six uh Shizuku's on and then we don't see or hear of Shizuku again until like chapter 20 that that's a little weird and that's why I kind of have to say yeah hers is like a little mediocre I hope that they don't really do that with her I hope that we get to see a little bit more of Shizuku in this season because she's still one of my other personal favorite characters I'm just saying I'm still waiting for the nurse to possibly make an appearance, not only because that's car captures occur as VA. I mean, Jesus, like, let's go. Where's she at? I know she around here. So just let her pop up for like a minute, say hi, and then that's it. You make a girl happy. I'm just, uh, I'm just saying. I mean, honestly, just do it. But 
I, Alina's gonna have a lot of questions when it comes to the next time her and Tati and me. I mean, she might want to kick his ass or some shit. I don't know. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to Vitor. It's episode 7 of season 2 of <clears throat> The Irregular at Magic High School. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 8. Bye, guys.